Today, I start building my new music production computer. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And as you can see next to me, I have a bunch of boxes. This has been a day I've been waiting for for way too long and I am beyond excited for it. I will be showing the steps that I go through to build a PC, but it's not gonna be a, a PC video. So quick background on why I'm doing this before I start uh, diving into the boxes for my new components. Right now I run a computer that's about seven years old. At the time it was a very powerful machine. I mean, not very powerful, but plenty powerful enough for running music production software. But of course, as time goes on, everything slowly becomes obsolete. Now I'm still working on a computer and I can still run up to maybe a 50 track project relatively okay, but it really starts to struggle at that point. And the last six months to a year, there's been plenty of times where I will not do something to make a song better because it is too hard on the PC. And some of that is because the plugins I'm using these days are getting more and more beefy and they require more horsepower from a computer. And that, that really is the main reason why I will take a shortcut on a song versus doing it right. So that is why I bought a new PC. Now I'm building this myself, it is not pre-built. So I'm gonna start diving into these. I've not opened up anything yet. I'm gonna show you what I purchased for the new PC. And another side note to this, uh, currently I run two PCs, one for video editing, one for audio production. I'm gonna go to a one PC setup now. Um, part of the reason for that is because there are times where I'd be editing video to have an idea for a song, but I didn't feel like turning that computer on, firing it up. Now I'll have the ability to just swap right over and get the idea down. And with those two computers, I'm gonna be building a secondary backup editing computer just in case. So. Uh, okay, let's start diving into some stuff. I'm also gonna be going over the reasoning of why I purchased some of these particular uh, PC components. The so first thing up is the thermal paste. I also wanna point out, I have not built a PC in about 15, 20 years. So um, this might take, this video might be a couple days worth. So if I'm wearing different clothes at different points, it might be a slow process. I do have a busy couple of days, so. Uh, but I am determined to get this done as soon as possible. I'm kind of in between projects right now, so it's the perfect time. Uh, next up is my two my two terabyte SSD. Um, this is gonna be where most all of the plugins live and OS and things like that. So this is the main one, this is two terabytes. Okay. Looks like this is my PC cooler. Um, I wanted more cores than than what I have. Right now I only have four cores on my i7, it's a 6700. The new one I got is a 13th generation. So um, this is my power supply. <clears throat> 750 watt power supply, gold. I hope I don't run into any major issues with this build. Like I said, I haven't built a computer in a long time, so the chance I forgot something important. All right, so in here we have um, okay, so this is where I'm gonna start explaining a few things. For this build, I'm running two separate SSDs. That's kind of like secondary hard drives. The reason for that is because I said I'm going from a two computer build to one computer build. In my head, I like to keep things separate. So basically, one of these is going to be for my video content, the other one is going to be for my audio production. Now you might be thinking, 500 gigs on each one of these is not very much. I run a, a NAS, basically like an in-home server where I have terabytes and terabytes and terabytes of space, I like to upload my stuff to that as a backup. It runs in RAID 1, so it basically mirrors. So if a hard drive goes down, I still have everything on a different one. So these only being 500, uh, you can obviously fit a lot of stuff on here, but I'm constantly uploading it to my NAS. Uh, okay, so here is the CPU. I went with the 13th generation uh, i7, so it's the 13700K. Um, Thir or excuse me, 16 cores, which is why I really wanted to go with this. Um, typically in audio production, music production, having more cores and more threads and stuff like that. Just having a, a more powerful CPU is where you can get a lot of gains right off the bat. Um, here I got my RAM, I've got DDR4, it's 3600 speed and it's 64 gigs. Um, some of you 64 gigs might seem like a lot, uh, with my video editing, working in 4K, working in After Effects, things like that, there's times where I'll be pushing 60 plus gigs of RAM being used when I'm exporting or working in one of those software. So uh, I got 64, I was gonna go 128 right off the bat, but I'm gonna start 64, see how that goes, and then maybe up it to 128 gigs. So last but not least, my motherboard. 
pretty standard, pretty straightforward motherboard. Has all of the things I need in a motherboard. Um, I think this puppy was 160 bucks, so not breaking the bank, not the cheapest, just kind of, you know, somewhere in between, but this should get me by just fine. And uh, I also have a video card I'm gonna be using, but that I already have sitting around, and that's a 1660. Um, all right, so the last thing we got here is the case. Okay, I went with the NZXT 510 Flow hard um, case, I believe is what it's called. Um, I like it because it's white. It flips around. It's kind of a slick looking case. Um, so yeah, that, that's kind of me breaking everything open, showing you what I'm working with. Um, I'm sure if there's any hardcore PC builders out there, you're probably screaming at me that I did something wrong. I should have gone with this, I should have gone with that. Wherever the case may be. I feel that uh, this will be a good build. I feel like it's gonna last me a long time, many, many years for both video editing and audio production. And yeah, so I guess now it's time to start uh, assembling it. And like I said before, this might be a couple day process. I've got quite a bit of things going on. So if you see me switching shirts, it's probably a different day, but I'll let you know when that happens. wrapping up day two. I got a few more things I wanna get done tonight with it, but for the most part it's done. Uh, the last steps will be to put my video card in here and install Windows 11. After that, it's mostly just the downloading. I'm gonna be downloading all the software and all the plugins and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I don't know if you can see behind me right now, it's about wrapped up. I'm downloading all the things that I have on my two computers, my video rig and my audio rig putting all those onto an external SSD so then I can just drop them onto this machine when it's up and running. But yeah, for the most part, for the first computer build in about 15 years, it went really smooth. Uh, I did hop on YouTube a couple times and just watch some how-to videos on a couple things I was curious about. But for the most part, it was plug and play. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to see how this computer performs when I throw a lot of things at it in Cubase. Based on how well my current machine runs uh, with video editing, I'm confident that this thing will, it'll, it'll handle all of the video editing just fine. All right, here it is with the GPU and the sides and everything rocking and rolling on it. And now maybe the most important part, we take So here we are, day three of the build. Um, the build was technically done, yesterday was day two and I ran into a few problems with the motherboard, ended up buying a different one. Long story short, got it all set up, but today is the day. I'm gonna get it all hooked up, run everything to it. Um, I've downloaded some software, but today is the big day where I'm downloading the majority of the plugins and all those kinds of things. So I've got my coffee, I'm ready to go, and let's get started.
Well, there you have it. I have now had the computer completed, built, and have been using it for audio production and video editing for the last three or four days, and it has been a dream. And really the only problem I ran into was that motherboard, the first one I got. I don't know if anything was technically wrong with it, but I just could not get it to boot into my BIOS and it could not display anything. Um, from what I've read online, it might've been the fact that I needed to do a flash to the motherboard because I had a 13th generation i7, but either way, I wanted it to work right away, so I went to Best Buy, found a, a better motherboard, is absolutely a better motherboard, for not much more money, put that in, fired right up, and I was rocking and rolling. And the nice thing about the motherboard I did get is it's more future-proof, so I do like that. So the last few days, I've been taking my time, downloading all my plugins, getting them all situated into Cubase, and there was quite a few, not a ton, but I had all my Waves, my Spitfire, uh, my SSL stuff, uh, and some like my Valhalla reverbs, and just quite a few plugins to track down, download, and get implemented. The only problem I have run into so far is when I've opened up a project with Valhalla Room Reverb in it, it hasn't saved my reverb settings on that project, which isn't the end of the world, but it is kind of a bummer because some songs and some tracks, I had relatively specific sounding reverbs on those instruments. Now I'm sure I can dial them back in to be about 90 to 99% the same, but I was really hoping it, it would just be plug and play, open up the project and now it's back to how it was. But other than that, the motherboard and then the Valhalla Room Reverb not saving the settings from the previous computer for whatever reason, it was a piece of cake. And it went so smooth, it kind of got me excited to build more computers. Now granted, I do not plan on building another one anytime soon. This thing absolutely kicks butt. In fact, I opened up a project I finished late last year. It has about 100 tracks on it, 30 minutes long. Uh, my old computer would be running at 95% capacity on the CPU. This machine, it peaks at about 25 to 20%. So this newer i7 can handle the music production just, it's just effortlessly. And that was what I really wanted in this build. I didn't want to be cutting corners when it came to uh, creating music. So anyway, this build, 10 out of 10, I could not recommend it more. In fact, I will put all of the parts that I used in this build uh, in the description down below. If you wanna do the exact build, go for it. If you wanna just snag some of the pieces, whatever it is, those will be listed down below. So I wanna know what computer are you running for your audio production? Is it a newer computer, an older computer? Is it something you've built yourself? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, as always, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. And until next time, see you later.